Hello, 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 dreamers. I'm trying to mix it up a little bit and try and like yeah, do a different. I just do a conventional hello to all the dray barrels, but uh, I do worry about the ref over there. He's slowly slipping further and further down the well of madness. I'm getting a nervous twitches all the time about. You know, I think it. I think it's honestly. I will say it's probably just excitement. Because I'm so right. eager, and especially this week, because we didn't do it last week with the Halloween shenanigans, right? Yeah, we didn't manage to fit one in. There were different things going on. You're, Busy, uh, but, you know, we said we would, and there was a mini one out there. So, anyway, Governor, how are you today? Oh, jolly good. You know, time ticks on. Another job starting tomorrow, so uh, let's see how that goes. Well, good uh, luck. Thank you very much. Got me gear. But no idea. <laughs> <laughs> You've done it before. You've done it before. Anyway, so um, I do Can't have it. a again. beer. I'm just sapping in between. So uh, I've, I've had a couple of beers earlier on. And I've got the one to review, but it's pretty late over here now. So, yeah. Uh, and like I say, it's my first day tomorrow. So I don't want to get too wrecked. <laughs> Let's keep it sensible tonight, eh? Can I? Right. 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 Okay. So anyway, obviously we start with this, which is Oh yeah, it's Bayer News of the Week. And I believe the governor is gonna I've got a quick um, bit of Bayer News. Now um I take it you would have heard about this chap over in America yourself because you follow, you know, British news being in being an expat yourself, you know. Um Yes. But, uh, I'm not sure if anyone else, well, you could tell me now. Have you heard of um, Captain Tom? Do you remember? Oh, him? yeah, of course. Yeah. And obviously, he um, he did the old, he raced so much for the NHS do, during yeah, COVID. And yes. he kind of became well known, you know. Was he known in America? Was it? Yeah, much? a little bit. I wouldn't say yeah. no, so but a people... little, little rundown. I know that. Um, a couple of dray barrels, a couple of friends of ours in Thailand had heard about him. But like yourself, you know, they're, they're expats. They follow things with British and interests and stuff. So just for our worldwide dray barrels, a little breakdown of this chap. He was a dear old guy, an old war veteran, um, and he decided to raise some money for the National Health Service, the NHS over here, which... Uh, is our medical um you know profession that free that we get as taxpayers we don't have to pay any insurance and he was raising them money when um the pandemic was at its worst over here in the first lockdown now he was 99 years old and he said uh, he'd walk up and down his garden a hundred times on his frame zimmer frame we call it over here he'd walk up and down and wondered if he could raise you know few hundred quid for the nhs and um yeah. well his story took the heart of the nation and yeah so definitely around the world and other people and um he raised i'm not sure in the end how much but he raised definitely over 30 million pounds um what it was yeah and it, pro probably more like 50 million now i should think well anyway yeah um sad news he actually died a few months later um just after he turned 100, he'd spoken with the Queen and... Well, it's like good, very right? Honorable, very honourable chap, yeah. And he, he yeah. turned 100 and he died a little while later. Um, now, over here, we've got a, uh, a brewery, Timothy Taylor's, and uh, they're a very old-style brewery, you know, proper, proper old pumps on the bar. And um, they're re-releasing Haver Cake, which is... Uh, I believe the third time they've done that, which is a bitter. And um, they're doing it. It was first brewed in 2002 to mark the 300th anniversary of the Duke of Wellington's regiment, known as the 3rd Battalion Yorkshire Regiment. Its name is taken from the regiment's nickname, the Haver Cake Lads, which derived from the oatmeal bread cake, which was a staple food of the Yorkshire Pennine towns and villages where the soldiers were recruited. Now, the reason of this is because 
Captain Tom himself served under the Duke of Wellington's regiment and he would have loved to have turned up at the and eaten the Manolin's beef and beer dinner and enjoyed a pint of haver cake that they'd done. So what they're doing is they've created um, the Captain Tom Foundation, um, which, you know, raises money for other charities as well as the NHS. And the brewery is going to be donating some of the proceeds they make out of a pint towards this charity going forward. And um, it says, he's, and then at the end, he's, he's, uh, the guy that runs it, he said that, um, you know, it's just a shame that Captain Tom isn't here with us any longer to enjoy a pint and reminisce about his time as a haver cake lad. Yeah. Oh, man, that's incredible, isn't it? They're doing that. And like you say, it is kind of sad he isn't to ex experience that. But, I mean, that's a testament to his memory, right? Oh, that a thing. legacy, isn't it? A legacy. Yeah, legacy, I should say. They've re-released it. It's something they've brewed before. I think this is the third... Or, or they no not the third I've got that wrong I think but the, anyway they're going for with the haver cake ale is what they're going to um you know donate from because he was a haver cake lad so oh, I'll have to have a look about that obviously up near um the uh, Yorkshire side of things Yorkshire we're back up there again oh, again proud <laughs> uh, and um you know up there you probably get this on pump but um, right, yeah, yeah, for a bottle of this, definitely, definitely, definitely. I have a pint of Timothy Taylor's. I sell it out in Weatherspoons, Timothy Taylor's, and it's nice proper old British bitter. Yeah, it is, and I've had that before in pubs in Britain. I do recall Timothy Taylor. It's a very well-known way of name. It's one of those beers and such that you kind of forget about when, but then when you mention it, you're like, yeah, I've seen that in plenty of pubs in my time, you know. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's yeah, it's almost I mean, in the same. It's going to come up, but the pump. Oh, I don't know if you'll see that. I'll have to send you a screen grab of that. You can just uh, oh, uh, there you can, I can see, see him. That's him there. Yeah, yeah, that's that's all Captain, Cap the Sir Captain Tom, or was it Captain Sir Tom? Well, he was just there in the end, wasn't he? But he's just known as Captain Tom. Captain man. Tom, and yeah, it was COVID. I know it got him in the end, but man, what a legend. Full respect to that gentleman, especially as remembrance is coming up, you know, remembrance yeah. day. So cheers right to that. To him. Good man. Good news. Yeah. I like that. All right. I guess I'll get us kick started. You're there, Governor. Um, my beer today is Big Drip, and it's an IPA. Look at that. Look at that hoppy dude on the front, man. He's cute, right? He's totally cute. And this is actually a collab, but it's um, Great Notion Brewery is the main one on this. And it's an 8.2. It's a double IPA. So oh. um, this, a hey, shout out to Coach Mike Burns for bringing this back for me from Seattle. He, uh, he wanted me to review it and he said, drink it as soon as you can, because you've got to drink these. Remember, these IPAs are best drunk fresh. Mm. So, so they say so rest. Uh, hey. okay i'm gonna pour <laughs> so um yeah i mean it's i'm excited i do like an ipa you know don't get me wrong it's not you're my gonna favorite. give him a shout out then i'll just say that you're gonna give him a shout out oh cheers mike cheers the coach <laughs> <laughs> cheers coach no, Wait, I mean, where's mine it's my one. I think he's saving that. <laughs> oh, it's looking nice. I don't. It's a very unusual pour, but you seem to have done rather well with it. Oh yeah, I think so. Oh, what's that? Oh, who the heck was that? What the devil is going on in the background? I I do apologise, Governor and Dre Barrows alike. Uh, there was a knock, knock, knocking at the door, and I had to answer it, and it was um. We got maintenance guy and he was fixing our blinds and our, um, our uh, my little boy's lamp and the fire alarms, but he couldn't get access to the blinds because we are moving house soon and it's full of boxes back there. So he just had to talk to me. So oh, I, right. I did. <laughs> Sorry. 
That's pretty detailed, isn't it? You could have just said it was a bloke. Pretty detailed, but pretty boring. I switched off. Do I bore you, sir? <laughs> back now, come on, look, the head's going on that beer. I know. Shit, sorry, uh, coach. Oh. Ooh, it's a oh, double. Double hop, and you can taste it. But... You know, I kind of talked before about sometimes they're two really sharp IPAs, really strong ones and too hoppy. This is kind of a smooth. It is hoppy, but it's smooth with it. So hopping, hopping like an inbred hillbilly. I'm <laughs> going, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, very good. Why didn't you get Paul in while I sap and then we right. get up through? So to match your hop, I've gone for um, one which is one of my wife's favourite beers that you don't see very often. So she grabbed a couple of bottles. I'm drinking one while she's asleep. Oh. Banana bread beer. I've had it. Yes, I've had it. What, have you reviewed it? I don't think I reviewed it, but I've seen it. I've had it here and I've seen it in the shops a lot here as well. Yeah, well, over here, there's a story behind that because it's changed breweries, but... Um, yeah, we don't see it that often, and I thought, well, I can't even remember if I have had one. So um, let's, let's get a pour on and see what happens. So first of all, in another bit of breaking news, look what I found. <laughs> oh, that lovely leg. Remember? The best bottle opener in town. It's now, very saucy. It is saucy. It's appeared before in uh, podcasts. But, yeah. Uh, lady's leg had gone missing now today i was sorting some stuff out and moving a few things and it was behind a cabinet from when we done our fourth of july american hoot and nanny special oh god damn i remember that yeah, it might have been that one or it might have been the eurovision special because i've done that from the same place as well either one that's a few months ago yeah it must have fallen behind the back I saw something glint in there. That lovely lady's leg. Oh, that's gonna right. go down in legends. Yes. See if she still works. <laughs> Rusty. Oh, lovely. There's the top of the lid. A bit illegal for you. Oh, I like that. Yeah. So yeah, if you're listening, it's a bottled beer. Um I love a brown bottle. We've gone over that before. And it's from Eagle Brewery. Mm. Let's yeah. see, how, see how it pours, see how it smells, see how it tastes before we get into them. Just a straight one as usual. I can't call them a straight one. It's just a pint glass, but it's clear. What I mean by that is they're clear. Yeah. Just a standard pint, right? Glass. Yeah. Oh, it is. The head going there. Oh, nurse. That pool looked pretty clear as well. Yeah, he's yeah, got the whole bottle. So that's what I like about the brown bottle. You get a pint, you know. You yeah. Get a, there you go. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Good head. Pretty nice. So let's give it a sniff because I'm interested. Oh. Right at the back of that sniff, right at the very end, banana. So you're getting some scent then. Smell of it in the actually as it's settling, it's getting sweeter. It smells sweet, so let's try it. That is banana. <laughs> that is what is it called? Banana bread beer. It's definitely banana and beer, I tell thee that. It's like a banana bread, actually, as you can taste it. Now, we've gone over some of these other modern shape, you know, milkshake things. If you handed that to me in a can and poured it, yeah, could part with one of those milkshake ones, the taste of it, you know, that's what it tastes like. It tastes a bit like a, uh, not as strong as a banana milkshake, but like a banana milkshakey sort of uh, consistency that Not is so weird and i tell you for why last week for the first time in my life i made banana bread and here you are today drinking a banana bread beer we 
we got sent by accident. My wife asked for three bananas and we got sent three bunches of bananas. And we're like, what the fuck do we do with all this? So I decided <laughs> to bend over and I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd make some banana bread. And um, I did, and it was lovely. And then my father-in-law said, tone of bone, he said, oh, I like banana bread. So I made a second <laughs> banana bread. And there's yeah, you yeah. drinking a banana bread beer. That's so weird. That's what you need. You need to accompany it with a nice slice of banana bread. No. Oh, Tony like that out in the acreage, no doubt. Yeah, he loves that acreage. And well, no, he loves that banana bread, I should say. I don't know how keen he is on Get him one of these, see if he like one of these. Well, like I say, well, we what's can the percent? It. I never said percent on this five point two, so not too shabby, but um oh five point two. Yep. It's still holding its scent, this banana through and through. Wow. So is... What you got on your one, Lynn? Let's have a bit on your uh Yeah, your... a bit of gum. A bit of gum. And it's um so this is eight point two compared to yours, five point two. And it's like it's an interesting can. And this kind of holds true. It's like one pint. So that's a full pint, as you could see. But it's like drink today. So they really encourage it, you to drink it as fresh as you can. Um, but it's from uh, Great Notion Brewing out of Portland, Oregon. Oh, lovely. So um, interesting brewery. They, I'll give you a bit of gump on these guys. Let me see here. So Great Notion is known for their hazy IPAs. That's not, to I've had hazier IPAs, so this is probably not quite their haziest, but mm -hmm. they, so, and culinary inspired sours and stouts. So they really focus on the sours and stouts as well. And um, their motto is keep beer fun. Simple, but um, you know, their website's pretty cool. They, I couldn't, I mean, I know we've had this issue and I know you've had it, is trying to find out when they were established, the history. Yeah. Um, and I don't... speak actually in my own one, so... Oh. To... <laughs> so maybe this needs to be a proper Dre Barrows drag one day. We we'll really sort out your history and give us a bit more gumph on how you started, because it's sometimes hard. Um, they give a lot of info on the awards that they've won. You know, they've got a few down the line. Um, they, they seems like they're very well established, actually. They've got, let me go through it. They have one location in Alberta, Oregon, another brew pub in Portland, downtown Portland, another location on the outskirts of Portland. They also have one in Seattle. Um, which is where Mike, the coach, has just come back from. He went for a kind of mini vacay. Yes, I enjoyed watching his updates and getting out on the football field and all that type of thing. Very he got good. a good kick, didn't he? Got a beautiful kick on him. Oh, beautiful. That'd be put half penny to shame or Pharrell. <laughs> well, maybe not. But mm. <laughs> different game, and it all leg chasers, isn't they? All leg chasers. They are. Yeah, and their last location is actually down in um, Sacramento, California. So they're pretty well established on the West Coast. Over there. Lovely, lovely job. Yeah. So you it up there. Did it? So the coach then he got you yeah. this beverage. You're reviewing the beverage. Did he drink at their brew house or tap room or anything? He did, yeah. He's visited it before and he wanted me to just try the beer. I've never experienced their beers before, but it's it kind of Seattle is a bit of a mecca for beers anyway, as I believe is Portland. Um, but like, remember I was reviewing that pumpkin that was from Seattle as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Elysian, or what do you call it? Elysian. Elysian. <laughs> Elysian. 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 Alasium, it's a Alasium, isn't it, Governor? Well, Dana, I had a, I had a, I've had this online training I've been doing, and this woman was saying, she wasn't saying Korea, she was saying Korea, or some shit like, no, 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 not even that. Oh, the country, Korea. No, 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 she weren't. She was saying Cor Korea, Korea. And I was like, it's a fucking Korea. 
It wasn't as if she was like Irish, saying it in like you know an accent thing. She was probably as it is pretty much talking like me, and then just completely. She was just completely fucking up her speech. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. I've always called it schedule, but I've been told that in Britain we call it schedule. Schedule, and I've never yeah. said that in my life. Is right. it because I'm Welsh? What you used to call it schedule in Wales? Are you sure? I it's did. An American thing. No, that is definitely an American thing. But I will ask my brother. I've never called it schedule in my life. I'm like, what the heck? He it's schedule. What well, he thinks it's schedule, does he? Who? Your brother. No, I don't know. I'm wondering whether I should ask him because <laughs> mm. I. Or my mother, I don't know. I've always, all my life, even back in Wales, even back all my years in Devon, I've always called it schedule. I've never called it schedule. Oh. Unless I'm, unless I'm getting meddled, because now I'm thinking about it, did I? I'm questioning myself. So if we're going somewhere, so are we on schedule? And uh, you wouldn't know what we were talking about. Well, I'm trying. I'm I think something's got lost in the aeroplane back and forth. <laughs> You're inventing false memories. It's that. Um, what do they call? I've only it? ever heard it called schedule in American movies and American things on TV. A schedule in England. I'm least. wondering what Toonie, because Tooney would tell us back when we did our landscaping in the old days would be like. Are you scheduled to go to the um, Ilfracoom today to, to meet George and do weed, weed whacking, streaming? See, I say that now. I, say, I call it weed whacking instead of streaming. What's yeah. happening? Well, I told you, it's just the 10 gallon hat you're missing. You're missing. But I suppose because you've been over there, you need to start with a one gallon hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe my head like a little george doors one and then you wear that for a year and it gets a bit bigger yeah i'll eventually get to the old what do they call stetson a proper stetson out here why grim what you say on that top you're trying to fucking show us all so oh. about <laughs> i don't know do um, not the affairs this... of dragons for now you are what? Crunchy and good with ketchup. Oh, it's a joke. I it, This was sent to, we still don't know who bought me this. It was a mystery shirt that came in the post one day, um, probably about three or four years ago, and we never fully worked out who it was. But obviously somebody that knows that I'm Welsh. Um, and I just found it the other day. I haven't worn it for ages. I don't think I ever wore it, to be honest. Nice looking to you, but the words are odd. Aren't it, isn't It'd it hard to read? It'd just be better if it just said, meddle not in the affairs of dragons, and left it at that. Yeah, I mean, I now, as it goes down, for now you're crunchy with ketchup. It looks like, you know, if I saw you walking along, I'd think you were special needs or something. So just keep it to this bit and just have black yeah right. keep it like that but as you go up it's it's a bit like i bought it i went on holiday and my auntie went on holiday and all she bought me back was this t-shirt it's a bit or this lovely hat from malta you know i love a good hat from malta but yeah you know that kind of thing you know if it says malta if it says i went abroad and bought this in malta yeah, it's a bit special needs, isn't it? It is, yeah. Anyway, sorry, I that's pretty much it on my brewery. So what have you got? <laughs> oh, I've offended him, I can tell. He's cheeky and back and forth. And actually, I've got to say this before I go on. I've noticed this. Are you reverse? Are you a bit like Benjamin Button? Because I, I recall your beard as bushy and as lustrous as it has been over the many months we've been doing this and at the moment it's fairly clipped for you i remember it being a lot grayer and whiter but suddenly your moustache is brown and 
What's Are going you... on? Okay, I guess, and I, I, I kind of, kind of hinted at on it in my mini one, Ray Barrels, and you probably saw that I had some kind of uh, like facial yeah. marks up here. It's still a remnant of it. Um, my Just good... like shit. That's what I put. Is that what's that on your top lip, son? Is it shit? Dad, not put you to shave, yeah. But no, it was. Um... <laughs> It was actually, uh, so what happened, right, was I, look, I'm not getting younger. Uh, my good wife d dyed my um, beard darker because for Halloween I went as Aragon from Lord of the Rings, which we talked about, and he looks a bit younger than me in the, in the beard, even though he's 80 years old. Um, he's a friend of that Legoland one. Yes, and Gimli the Dwarf, you know, from the movies. So you went as him, I saw that. So and what did your son go as? He went as um Bil Bilbo oh Frodo Baggins, not Bilbo Baggins of the Shire. Oh, yeah. yeah, Frodo Baggins. He had the ring and I had the, the, the wig, but I had the Aragon wig and I had to dye my beard. So my see, wife that's what, that's what it was, you see. It wasn't in that photo that I've seen and some of the Dre Barrels may have seen. Yeah. Um it wasn't the beard that stood out then. It was just freaky to see you with long hair. Well, yeah, my good when friend. When I first knew you, you had long hair. Maybe not as long as that wig was, but was you, had pretty, you had pretty, well. It was just had, a bold cut, right? It was a fashion. Yeah, but it was still, you know, four or five inches long in a centre parting. So for me to see you like that after seeing you, you know getting the glare off your noggin for weeks on end it was like unsettling so we had a little uh, discussion on the weekend with steve knows and and his wife said it we, we we asked this question if you could grow back your hair tomorrow would you and it was the wives answering and she said no because she what, meant, is, what, is his wife bold no <laughs> steve knows <laughs> is bold and he and she so, said no uh, no offense man no, no offense, uh, young lady. Um, but she, he, she said no because I met Megan when. Uh, sorry, I, I met Steve knows Megan would mind me saying I met Steve knows when he didn't have hair, so she's used to him bald. Now, mm -hmm. my good wife said to me, she answered yes, I would because obviously she met me when I had hair. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. um. So it's, it's an interesting question, right? So basically, one wife has said, I, I wouldn't change him. He's pretty much perfect as I like him. And the other one said, I would change him. <laughs> she, <laughs> she preferred you. <laughs> she preferred you with a bit of uh, hair on top. A big, uh, but then it's weird because... I, my, I was... my hair, this filter, it does look weird. It looks... I don't dye my hair, folks. Well, I have dyed it before, as the ref knows. I've dyed it all different colours over the years. I don't dye my hair, but in this light at the moment, it looks extra brown. <laughs> it looks thick. Yeah, yeah. oh, it is thick. You know my hair. It's thick, isn't it? Oh, my God. It is super. And it looks darker. It does look darker. But I think it like, so I've had to move again because we've got builders here and... I ain't got the right light in, I don't think. But don't you think yeah. that your hair goes darker though in the winter? And isn't that a fact? Well, it goes darker because I, I mean, obviously there was that couple of years when I grew my hair when we first started doing this. But my yeah. hair goes darker in the winter mainly because I let it grow a little bit longer because it's cold. <laughs> oh, oh, how are we going? Anyway, talk about your brewery. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot about that. Right, Eagle Brewery. Eagle Brewery is based not too far from where I was born. In, Bed in Bedford, Bedfordshire. So I was born in a place called um, Luton, Dunstable, and this place is north of there by, I don't know, 10 miles, something like that, 10, 15 miles. And um, Eagle Brewing, it's hard to find much out about them other than they're based in Bedford. Their um, website at the moment says because of COVID, they've stopped selling directly from their shop and online. 
you can buy their beers through lots of different other online places, but just not from them directly. Excuse me. Yeah. Now, this beer, when my wife got it and got, oh, I found banana beer, banana beer, I found it. I was like, we've had banana beer. She said, I haven't had it for years. And I was like, you have? Yeah. Because I remember she's definitely bought it in the last two, three years. But all the labelling has changed and it wasn't Eagle Brewing. It was Wells Brewery, which... Wells, yes. Yeah, Wells. And it's slightly yeah. different um, labelling. And um, anyway, in 2019, Marsden's bought them out, but they kept the banana beer because it's so iconic. They kept it and named the place Eagle Brewery. Because I think we've, you know, we've talked about this before, like Heineken owned loads of different breweries. Yeah. Marsden's own loads of different breweries, such as Banksy's, where you can buy this beer from. But they like to keep a slightly different name. Otherwise, it just becomes, you know, like monopolised and people just disregard it a bit. I mean, I, I do look for different breweries, even if the overall brewery is the same one. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, so like Blue Moon uh, was bought out by like, I don't know, I think it was like a cause or Eisenhower Bush or one of those, you know, big ones. Yeah, and then I think it was, wasn't it, um, uh, John Smith's and Heineken or something like that. Yeah, yeah. One of the ones I went on about. And anyway, so that happens quite often um, in things. So they've kept this Eagle Brewery and from 2019, that's when they've been going. Um, yeah. yeah, like I said, there's not much else on it. There isn't a tap room there or anything like that. It's just buying directly from suppliers, especially Banks's, because that's Marsden's as well. They've got two or three other beers that come out of there, which is Waggle Dance, which is a honey beer, Sticky Toffee Pudding, which is a beer. So they do ones that are sort of sweetish, I suppose. But then they do have an Eagle IPA, which local to the area is on can be found on tap. Um, but other than that, not much else. It's just really a branch of uh, Marston's and um, yeah, they kept it because they wanted people, you know, like we've said, you've heard of the banana beer before. No, I said, I've, I, I've had it and I saw it last week somewhere. Um, so that's why I was like shocked that you were drinking it because I've seen it here and had it before. And I'm like, what? So it's very international. That particular mm. one, I guess because it is such an iconic and it's probably their signature beer, right? Yeah, it's the signature one. I think the other ones they do is just like many breweries, they do two or three others. Um, and I think there might be a couple more, but it's very hard to find out anything else because the main banner on their thing says due to COVID, they're not, do you know what I mean? It's not as yeah. good as accessible as usual yeah, it's yeah. That a brewery isn't selling directly but i suppose maybe it's you know sign of the times if they've got banksies who they're associated with through milestones to to send it out there why, why would they need to really yeah i wonder i mean just i wonder who like obviously a lot of these beers that come from europe over here and i've seen that i wonder who the the big company is that imports it and distributes it here you know i'm just kind of curious now because it's rare we get beers that we both have drunk you know well it'll be happen. interesting to see if the banana beer you had was either eagles or might have been a wells one from a few years back who knows I don't know. I don't know. so anyway i guess like as well, just before, um, I'll just name a couple of my beers, if I will, because obviously that's all you could find about your brewery. That's all I could find about my brewery. So um, not a lot. But hey, so th this brewery, uh, great notion. They do, um, they do, like I said to you, they do stouts and sours and IPAs. That's kind of their speciality. Um, they've got one called Double Stack. Which is a stout, and that's eleven percent. But me, that'd be good for the <laughs> stout. Yeah. Advent, wouldn't it? Eleven percent be buggered. Jeez. Well, I found one over here that I'm desperate to get my hands on. I'm going to hold that under my hat. Actually, it's just reminded me. I'm sure that was fourteen percent. What? When I was fucking about when it was Halloween, and I 
You know, I've got that de- that Satan beer with mm. the, co- the coolest bottle top of all time. Oh, I that love was, it. I love that. Are but you keeping I'll, it? Huh? That bottle top, have you kept it? For you? Yeah, kept it in my bin. Why did you throw them away? Oh, that's so cool. I like you. I have no intention of being a Morris man. There's no need for it. <laughs> Just I have kept minute. a couple back for you. Maybe okay. I have that one. Who knows? Up a I don't see the point in me. It's, that's like me going to a shop and there's like 40 or 50 bottle tops. Oh, I'll buy them. That mean nothing to me because I haven't drunk it. That is, you have to drink it, you know. Uh, no, I, I, I kind of agree with that. Because everyone I've kept, I've drank, obviously. But mostly I get cans and stuff. So that's like... You can get that, that Satan beer if you wanted it. I can get you one easy. Oh, okay. Come, yeah, come over, yeah. I'll find, what I'll do is I'll list the ones that have really good bottle tops. And when you come over, we'll just get them all in, just drink them all, and then you can take them back. You've validated your collection then. That's going to be messy, isn't it? That's going to be one messy night. Just drinking all that. <laughs> messy the other night when West Ham beat Liverpool. I was Shit. getting it. Back, help, yeah. back, help back. Help back at this. After after two or three, after I text you, two or three more, I thought, no, nope, that's enough. I was telling him, I text him, oh, you're going to be bow cocked. Oh, <laughs> totally bow cocked. And uh, have been on my shoulder for sure. And I brushed him away and like, Hey, you got to celebrate, on you? I mean, it was a bad day for me because of bloody Wales. Uh, it was, I actually watched it live, you know. Oh, uh, God. But here we go. It, you got to celebrate. Know. Before we do anything, I have got correspondence for the first time. Serious? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> it was a direct message to my private account, not the Draymond's one, but my gov one. And um, I don't know why, particularly, but... Why they didn't email us, but anyway, or, or DM or us. joined. Anyway, it was from. Um, uh, let me get it right. Now. It was from a, a female Dray Barrel. Oh, okay. Um, uh, Jenny one two eight. Hang on, Jenny. What? Yeah, just Jenny. Jenny? I won't put any more. Jenny one two eight, and she put. Um, but oh, I can't put all of it because there was a few swear words. I know we swear, but I don't like to. That's accidental. Anyway, it said, "What is it with all this stout loving?" It was just on International Stout Day. Um, why don't you do some decent beers like the lagers we used to drink? Okay, is this somebody that knows us? <laughs> I don't know. And and um, so I messaged back saying pretty much what you've just said. Do we know you? Yeah. It just put back, ha ha, Jenny Liverpool. Really? So a, a scouser from Liverpool. That sounds more like Cockney. <laughs> hey, that scouser. Oh, oh, I'm a scouser and I'm from <laughs> Liverpool, you man case. <laughs> yeah, that's not close, is it? No. So, no, no. what basically this lady is saying is we've mentioned before that you and me used to like a lager and used to be a bit of a lager louts in our youth. Yeah. Maybe she'd like to see a few more lagers. Do you know what? But that's a good point. We've well, done a Lagers, didn't we? You know, we we have, and I don't know if you noticed, but um, over here suddenly lagers, craft lagers, craft brewery lagers have become really popular these past few months. I don't know if you. I think of- maybe I should. I mean, I have put it up there before. I don't know if I have actually. I, I've sent you messages because it winds you up about Carlin. I think maybe I'll do a Carlin one. My, it, it was interesting. I think maybe it was a typo because she put like we used to drink. Maybe she meant like us two used to drink. Or the, as know. general we, as in people of our generation. We. Well, it's weird because I, I sent a message back with just a ha ha come back and then nothing else. But we do have some weird shit going there. There are some funny dray barrels yeah. up there. 
we get there some was more... a strange one. It said, someone wants to send you a message. This was yesterday. Oh, okay. I clicked on it, and it, it, it came up with some Russian-type bird called Miviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviv
maybe Foyer, Foyer. Um, but yeah, I, I, I was like, eh, it's kind of a little bit early, you know. And I know it, it, it's early for me because it's, um, I'm British and we don't have a holiday in between Christmas. But it's not early for Americans because they have Thanksgiving. Well, no, that's the wrong way around, right? They should wait until Thanksgiving to play Christmas music. But being British, maybe you can get away with it early November, you know? Yeah. So you think? what you're saying, it's a bit early for Christmas stuff. And I agree. Like, you have Sky TV over here. And as soon as Halloween ends, boom, everything up is to do with Christmas. And it's like, it's just fucking November. Yeah. You know, don't, I think it's spoiled. I agree. As soon as it's like the weekend before Advent, boom, flood us with it. But they've had a Christmas channel on here. They've got two Christmas channels been going since the start of September. And it's just like, I think it takes a bit of the magic away myself. You get you get sort of immune to it, don't you? You do. You get just, and by the time Christmas comes, it's like, ah, uh, I'm over this. You know? When you've mentioned Thanksgiving there, now, I know that there are different movies, and I believe... Uh, Planes, trains, and automobiles is getting home for Thanksgiving, I believe. I think it is Thanksgiving rather than Christmas. Yeah, it's not Christmas, right? It's Thanksgiving. Yeah, so it's getting home for Thanksgiving. But surely there's a market for old Mariah Carey. I don't recall there ever being a pop song about Thanksgiving. I've never heard one in my life. Fucking hell, we'll be on it. Next year, Draymond's Knowledge. We'll be having it. Winter in the hedge. Winter in the hedge. I'm just thinking off the cuff here. Get all those berries and sedge. No, berries and sage. Sorry. <laughs> For that in turkey and glaze. I don't know having done that song. But uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's the 25th, a... isn't it? Isn't it the tw- is it the 25th of November? It's actually the last Thursday. So it varies. So it's the last Thursday of November. Mm-hmm. Well, like we can't put down a date then. So we've got to say the last Thursday. Yeah. Thursday is quite a hard word to rhyme with, actually. Um, Persuade, Thursday. Uh, hmm. I don't know. We need to okay. think. By next week, I would have written a, I would have written a little ditty for Thanksgiving. I'm going to write that down there. So can we have one next week, or are you going to keep it for actually just around Thanksgiving when we do our Thanksgiving special? Is there going to be a Thanksgiving special? Because I don't really give a shit. No, it won't be. It'll just be a pre-Thanksgiving dream. Um, it's I'm joshing with you. I don't mind doing it. Cool stuff. I'm quite intrigued by the whole thing, actually. It's quite a... It's, you can give us the proper lowdown on it, I think. Yeah, let's, let's talk about it. There's maybe on that podcast, we'll just go into it a, bit, a little bit. And I swear it's like everything these days, like... Uh, I had some Polish friends where I used to work a couple of years back and they have like, um, they have grandmother's day, grandfather's day, mother's day, father's day, which are all separate days, but they also have children's day in Poland. Oh, okay. Um, And it seems like as we go on, you know, like we've just talked about, like I look forward to Christmas. I don't want to spoil it by celebrating it too early. You know, as soon as it's Advent, fine. You know, I don't mind. Yeah, that. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah get on board. And I, and I enjoy the, the people and never trust never trust anyone that says they hate Christmas because no, they no. are complete bellings. Um, but, um, yeah. you know, I, I, I think that there's so many things over there and, that, you know, like, especially with the old TikToks and that, and they latch on to anything and something that was quite good becomes normal and uh yeah it's maybe we, should, maybe we should destroy thanksgiving by releasing some annoying tune i we should let's get on board with that but i would like yorick i was talking to the dutchman yorick he's brought me some beers from europe back he went over there but he's telling me they did oh yes the viking as they say he he did um he was telling me something about his family celebrating Christmas in Advent, like a week or two weeks before, something weird. And I was like, you what? And they exchanged gifts 
and he's probably going to correct me on this, but it's way before Christmas. And Christmas itself, they don't really do much. And I was like, what? That's I know that the Polish celebrate Christmas Eve more. Like their main, they have a Christmas meal, but Christmas, the Christmas Eve more, but the Christmas Eve meal is more important to them than the Christmas Day one. And it's always fish. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's interesting. That's different. It is very important to kids' parents. They always celebrate the Christmas Eve meal. So it's a big thing for us. And we don't really do a big meal on Christmas Day over here. I am this year. But yeah, that's kind of weird to me. But anyway, are you got a drag or what? Because <laughs> we're going on, yeah, about Christmas. Okay. Uh, uh, no, I haven't got one. All right. We've dragged together tonight. Oh, well, it's, uh, I suppose it's a bit stupid. It's something I mentioned to you and you said to mention it. It's when people give names to a place or something that could be, I don't know, it just it just annoys me. Like, um, Doing phrases. Well, but... like someone, something that's like uh, my mum done it, for instance, the, the guy, the vicar that married us. Everyone said, oh, is the vicar here? Is the vicar here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my mum referred to him as the sexton, which is a very old English word for very someone. Very old-fashioned, the sexton. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the sexton. And it wound me up. He's like, no, no, just call him the fucking vicar. That's what he <laughs> is. And call him the sexton. He doesn't go around going, oh, hello, my name's Sexton Vernon. And that was his name, Vernon. Um, he says, no, I'm, I'm Vernon the vicar. You know, and it, but she, but she would go on and on and on about it, and um, yeah. I know that you and me have our little phrases and that, but it was when you mentioned being up at the acreage. Now I know this is pretty pretty shaky ground for you because it's it's your family and stuff, but for some reason, the phrase the acreage wound me up. It's now, only media it says it. I know it's not as massive as a, a ranch. I get that because a ranch in Texas would be a vast expanse of land. And it's, acres. and it's not a farm because they don't have animals as such. But uh, I don't know that phrase, acreage. Just Shall I call it the hectoridge view? No, not even that. I hate hectares more than acres. I like an acre, but acreage. We we'll call it just the creek. Down on the creek. I don't um, have to change it for me. That is not what I'm saying about. I'm just saying that for some reason, acreage wound me up. <laughs> but <laughs> and a, hopefully, a, one day I will visit over there. Oh yeah, yeah. But it's not me. Yet. I mean, um, so it, it is me. Sorry, because my none of the family say that. It's just me who came up with that. And what I did think, say? Um, I don't know the property. Or yeah. the land. No, probably right. the property. The compound. Oh no, no, they um they do say the compound, but that's to refer to the one acre where my in-laws have fenced around to do the landscaping to stop the deer, and they just call it the compound. Yeah, um, see now I don't mind that, which is weird. I don't know what's going on in my brain, but acreage. Just wow. That is a drag for the governor yeah. and the it's governor not, alone. Not, it's the dreg of other people using words to be clever. Like the isn't, verger? That, that isn't me. <laughs> you, I am going to talk to the verger today. His name is Barry, but I'm going to call him the verger. Yeah, the verger, the sexton. There's, I mean, there was loads I thought of earlier, and yeah. I can't think of one, for instance. But No, there's, I, I know what you mean, but I kind of... I'm probably with your mother on that because I kind of like those little old-fashioned terms. I do yeah. like them. I love them because you and me have got thousands of words for oh. very, very normal things. Yeah. Yeah. That's just having a Ricky, having a Dan Carroll, right. all that. Not yeah. many people would understand and probably think there are a couple of knobheads in special needs T-shirts that we've gone on about. Yeah, they find us humorous. <laughs> <laughs> they may like, oh, they're those idiots, but they are humorous. So there you go. Sometimes, yes. sometimes. Anyway, yeah. give us a, yeah. oh the racing. Let's get the old banana. Yeah. Bit. Come on, yeah. I've enjoyed it. It's 
it's nice. I know my wife really is a fan of this. Um, yeah. I'm going to go for a 7.5. Fair. That's a good rating, actually. That's good. You know. All right. Yeah, it's all right. You know, I wouldn't rush out myself and have another one. I prefer other things, but yeah, it's not a bad beer. Yeah, you've got to rate it in the context of things. Like that's what it says. It's banana. It's banana. sweet. It's all right. What is, I'm kind of curious, sorry, I know we're rating, but what, where, where does that come in classifications of beers? Is that like a just an ale or a brown ale? Or a... Well, I read it because I was looking at it. Um, they class it themselves as a fruity beer. Okay, okay. That makes sense. And I had one the other day, a fruity beer. So, all right, chalk that up. I'm going to review it because you are getting darker and darker as we speak. No. You can't even see that writing anymore, can you, below me? You can see that, but your your beard and moustache, it's like I said, your Benjamin Button. It's all, it looks like it's... All you can see are two white spots. Yeah, we know where they're from, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> it has a... As of the guest, he was. Hey, uh, so, hey, this is a really good IPA, nice and fresh, and I'm glad I drank it as fresh as I could. Um, from Great Na Notion, it's an eight. It's a solid eight on the IPA oh, classification. That's nice. Uh, oh. Finishing. Oh. That's my drag. So, hey, yeah, it's been fun, eh? It's been all right, yeah. It's all right. So we will be back next week and we'll see what happens. So, ta ta. Ta ta.